Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. In this one, just going to talk about the Airward uh, parking brake mount and then uh, how I mounted that. And then also a quick update on Dan's OP60 Adahers mount, which uh, does not work for Garmin. So just a heads up on that one. But I uh, hope you enjoy it. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe, give it a like. Thanks. Bye. Okay. So I decided to put this uh, handbrake in or parking brake or emergency brake or whatever you'd like to call it. Um, it's the anti-air bracket. So the first thing I've got to do is I've got to remove this mount. You see, I've already taken this all apart, release the lines. I'm going to uh, drill these rivets out because I use these same holes for the bracket. And uh, I'll mount that bracket on and the bracket looks like this guy right here and so that will go on to the firewall like this and the valves for the brakes will go on top of that and uh, it gets riveted and screwed in i'll uh, keep you updated once you get the original bracket off you put this bracket on and it'll get um, riveted in the same spot now i don't have the canopy on um, so I can actually uh, use solid rivets in these. Um, you could use pull, pull rivets too, I guess, if you had the top on to be a hassle to get here. And uh, so you've got three on top, three on the bottom. I haven't got this mounted yet, but this is actually where the screws go for the hold the, uh, the valves in. <clears throat> it mounts on here, these hold the valves. And then on the other side, what happens is you get the six rivets plus these two holes here get sized to take uh, screws that go into the back of it, back of this unit as well. Uh, so next thing for me is, you know, get the uh, these nut plates riveted in here and then I'll attach this onto the wall and uh, go from there. Okay, so this is actual valve and you have to attach this uh, this cable nut clip onto here. Um, it's got a set screw in here that you use to set it. And when I read the instructions, I thought what it said was you put a washer on this side, you put a washer on that side, and then you put in the uh, cotter pin. Um, it wasn't, that was not gonna happen. So I was sanding this down a bit, then realized, well, wait a minute, let me give him a call. And it didn't really make a lot of sense. I could see why you'd have the washer on here next to the cotter pin, but on this side, I didn't really see any need for it. So I confirmed you, uh, you only need the washer on next to the cotter pin. You put that together like that. And then this thing will ultimately get attached to the bracket on the uh, firewall. The other thing you need to do is you need to then also, this arm goes attached to that bracket that goes on the firewall. It actually gets attached like so. And it's got a, uh, a Dell clamp here, and that's just held on now. But uh, basically you run your cable through that, that cable comes out, that'll hold it in place. You attach the cable to this, and now you've got uh, your control valve. Uh, overall, you know, pretty straightforward. Um, I'll do some pictures as well as I do this. Um, you know, Airward was uh, very good, awesome guy. But, uh, you know, the pictures are a little hard to see, at least when I want to get into the details. So I figure I'll take some of those shots and that way you'll be able to see them easier. Cheers. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like um, when it gets mounted on. This, uh, I believe, goes to the, the lines that are coming in, and these go to the actual brake cylinders. But um, you can see here, this is the little control lever for the valve with its little lock nut in there. And then this is just for the cable holder. That arm is mounted onto 
this plate which goes onto the back firewall and uh, it's just screwed on and it's got the nut plates in there so the next thing for me is to just mount it to the firewall i think all of the holes that i've got now should be just fine um, you put two screws in this so the two screws go in here and then the rest of it is uh, rivet so you've got six rivets hopefully that makes it a little easier and uh, yeah that's kind of how i've got it laid out this shouldn't move too much this one obviously will as it pulls in and uh, away you go cheers so there it is um, with the arm on it mounted onto the wall I haven't riveted on yet um, because once I rivet it on this arm is fixed because the bolts are on the in the nuts on the inside of this so I won't be able to change it uh, just may end up swapping the other side because I'm thinking I might run my cable over here, up around by my firewall, but I'm not sure yet. It's long enough. I could loop it back, uh, but I have to check the valve anyway. The only modification I had to make is because I had the bracket already on here, I just drilled those rivets out. Um, but these have two screws that go in here. I haven't put Loctite on them yet, but you need to. Um, they needed to be dimpled a little bigger than the standard number 40. Um, so all I did was use my other die set that I have for my pull rivet and uh, just use this and made the dimple for number 30. And that uh, worked out great. So far so good, cheers. The parking brake installed, it, uh, it actually wasn't that bad. You have to put the fittings on um, and you put some Loctite on this fitting as it goes into this block. Same on this one here. I was able to use the same lines. I did have to bend this guy a little bit, um, but these go down. It's, uh, it was a piece of cake. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't put the cable on here. I have it, but I'll end up running that cable on here when I put the, put it on later. And, uh, I did the hard rivets for this because I had access. The only thing I didn't do is, um, so I've riveted it on here. You'll see one screw and then I dropped this screw somewhere. Can't find it. So I've got to order one, uh, but that's it. All finished with the, uh, the brakes. Oh, the one thing I haven't done is these are not tightened in permanently yet. I'm going to order some hydraulic fluid, uh, which they recommend and fill it up. And that way you don't have leaks with the O-rings and stuff that are in there. So I'll do that. And then once I have that, then I'll tighten these on permanent. And uh, only thing left to do is run the cable. And my plan is to run the cable. It'll come up here, across here, I think, you know, across. So out of here, across, across these bars, over and out through here. And I'm going to have, uh, sorry, out, over, out through here and right here. In my center console, I'll just have the valve right here so you can pull and push it right easily. And it'll be by the pilot's right knee. Other than that, that should be a wrap for this guy. Hope you find it useful. Cheers. I figured I'd include also a little update on my Adahars mounting. This bracket, which is OP-60 from Vans, says it's a Adahars bracket, <clears throat> works for Dyson and other standard Adahars. So I purchased this, I got it all drilled out, ready to mount in the plane. I finally picked up my Adahars and it doesn't fit on this. Contacted Vans and Vans said, yeah, it's a little misleading. It works for the Dyson, Dy, Dynon, but not for the Garmin. Um, so, just a heads up for everyone. You know, I went through all the work of prepping this. I also have this one over here for my magnetometer. They said this is really for the magnetometer when it's a Garmin. Which, you know, I guess I've got either one I can mount now for magnetometer. So what I ended up doing instead was mounting my Edahars unit back in here you can see it here there's actually four screw holes on the back of the pfd this i knew was an option i hadn't done it because they don't necessarily recommend it because of vibration but when i'm finished this front panel is obviously going to be all screwed on 
and as well it's going to be two millimeters thick so it's not going to have any flex so it shouldn't be a problem and i guess a lot of people who build the rv10s end up mounting it there but i figured i'd include that so definitely the the description is very misleading it's wrong and so uh just a heads up so that anyone else goes down this path don't have the same issue that i did and this by the way required me to do some pretty major rewiring because I originally had this plan to be mounted in the back of the plane. So all the CAN bus connections and had already been thought of and wired out. And uh, lo and behold, I ended up having to insert it in here between my PFD and uh, my autopilot. Anyway, figured I'd share this one as well. Cheers.